Hi, welcome back to the Backpacker Coach. Today I have another special episode of Chris Kramer's and Lisanne Froon, The Girls Missing from Panama. Today I really wanted to talk to you about light and shadows, and also how the camera works with light and shadows. So that's what we're gonna kinda go over today. Most of it is gonna be on the computer, but the first thing I wanted to show you guys was actually out here in the middle of um, a park and so I have my camera right now set on manual so you're able to see me better because it's almost like being able to fool the camera so I'm setting my exposure only for the shadows and not for the whole entire image so that is why you're able to see me better now it's perfect kind of timing because it's or it's 11:25, which is perfect and it's past our the time change so it's only three weeks away from april 1st now what i wanted to show you is the difference between how the can what the camera does when it's on manual mode as opposed to when it's in normal program mode how the camera reacts to the light around the area and how a person should look in the shade so i'm going to switch the camera over now to program mode and I want to show you what it looks like when the camera is in program mode and pay attention to how the shadows look as opposed to now all right okay now that I've switched it over to 100% program mode so the camera is now deciding on what it wants to shoot at now I've tried to set the camera up at the same angle and stand at the same direction that Lasanne was was standing as far as I can tell we have shadows over here you can see that are going in the same general direction and we have um, me that's also in should be in total um, shade so also I'm gonna try this again I'm going to um, kind of turn from left to right and see what happens with and my face and my chest because it seemed that uh, when she was turning that she was getting light on both sides of her chest at, when she would turn, which I don't believe is correct. So we're gonna try that as well. So here we go. I'm gonna turn and try to remember to keep my face turning with my body this time. Okay, now I did that part. But I wanted to explain to you now, look how dark I am. This is because the camera is trying to expose for the whole brightness of the whole area. And it doesn't really care that a little tiny bit of it is a person is standing there. So it doesn't really care. It's trying to expose for the whole area. So if you're exposing for this whole area that's very bright, Lasanne should be very dark she should look this dark which she does not so that's another very very interesting and one of those things that i think are very wrong with this picture that lasanne's way too bright for this image because when you take pictures in the middle of the day and you're exposing for a whole scene the shadows are terrible and so that's what this as well proves that this obviously was not taken in a huge grassy field because the camera wouldn't expose like that all right well let's try to get into the uh, rest of this image and let's get into the rest of this this video i wanted to go over this image and a couple others of just how many odd things there are that are going on with this image First, I just wanted to show you how kind of shadows should work. And if you see here, the sun's pretty low and these shadows, you can see how they start going this way. And as you move further back into the, off to the left, then they start kind of shifting this direction. So you can tell that they don't all stay the same direction but also they still everything you see in here has consistency everything still 
generally moving at least in some sort of a same direction. There's nothing going in odd angles or anything. Um, everything like that's like say here, next to here, it's all going in the same direction. So if you look back at this image here, we look at these few fence posts. You can see this one's going this way, this one's going this way, this one's going this way, and for some reason, this one's going down that way. That one should not be doing that. Another thing is this grass. You can see that this line is going this way. That's way too close to this. It should all be going this direction, just like this is going this direction, this is going this direction. The shadow should be going this way. But also, now I want you to look at something else. Look right here. What do you notice? Right there. What do you notice? There is no shadow. Whoa. Nothing. Whoa. There's no shadow at all. It doesn't exist. That's a problem. Also, if the sun is coming from behind Lisan, pretty much from from like back this direction, and it's shooting this way. I don't see how the sun could be going through her arm and through this way, which the backpack should be blocking all of that or most of it, the sun shouldn't be able to get through through here because the sun is going this direction. So I don't think it should be able to go through here. Now, there's a couple other interesting things though. You also notice that there is this right here, a reflection on her shirt. How do she get a reflection on her shirt in the middle of a grassy knoll? Nothing out here to be reflecting back to get a little reflection spot. That's impossible. And like I've said before, that even on her face and all through here, it's very reflecty. It's like something she's standing next to something reflective that's just way too much reflectiveness going on there i mean all these are round and they're completely in shade and she's not in shade her her forehead is almost all lit up so something's not right there also another strange reflection is right here. If you look around right under her sunglasses, there's another odd reflection that shouldn't be there. Just like this one that's on her breast. This one also is coming from somewhere, from a boat or whatever she was standing on. That reflection shouldn't be there as well. So that's the first part I wanted to go over. And then the next part I wanted to show you I just wanted to show you this image real quick. And notice, if you look real close, this, that is a bun. You can see how the hair is going in this direction. And you can see the messy bun, it's pulled up right there. That's not a ponytail. There's no ponytail, because the ponytail would go, would look like a ponytail. Yet, even though it's all nice and bundled up there, there's hair down here. I'll back out a little bit. There's hair down here. That doesn't seem right to me either. 
that does not look like a ponytail to me. And that's just within a couple seconds. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention was if you take this image and I measured from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet, I measured that and then I measured the length of her shadow here. And the shadow, no matter whether, say you have a big gigantic tall thing here and it's going to also make a shadow, although the shadow will be bigger, the shadow would still be the same ratio as the small shadow. So if this, this shadow fits how many times it will fit Lisanne, which I did the math and it fits, the shadow fits in Lisanne 3.4 times. Now, if you go back over here and I did this guy here, I did this little shadow here. This shadow fits into this fence post 5.25 times. So that doesn't seem to be working out properly either because they still should be able to fit. They still should be the same. We're very close to it and it doesn't fit. It does not work right. Yeah. So I took the shadow and figure that goes fits in there 5.25 times. That doesn't work because the shadow should be the same, the same ratio. Okay, and there's one more interesting thing that I wanted to show you guys. So if you look at this picture and compared to this picture, there's something very interesting about this. If you look at where Lisanne's standing, as opposed to where she's standing here, this area that is behind Lisanne in the other picture, this part, this right here, this, some of this, that where like the shadow is missing and where this grass is going the wrong direction, that's where she is covering that up in this image. So one possibility could be that this could be an original image. And then when they moved her over here, they had to fake this area. That's a possibility. I more of think that they're both not real, but they just needed to put that over that area because that's obviously not correct but you still have this area right here that this shadow is still going the wrong direction. But I just thought I would mention that. I thought that was kind of interesting. Just the fact that it does, she is covering up that little area that is, you know, all the little issues right there. So I thought I would mention that. There's just one more thing I want to show you guys. And this is really interesting. So if you take a look at these two images, I flipped this second image the other direction. Now, if you look, now if you look at the, how the light is hitting Lisanne and you look at both of these images, now that this one is flipped. What do you notice? They're like identical. They are very, very identical. The only difference is, is that she has her hair up in a bun and there's no reflection on her shirt. Other than that, she like has like the same it's like almost they just put like a head on top of her body. Like it's like she just moved just slightly, turned slightly, and that's it. I just thought that was very interesting because the light looks identical to this. Just that's slightly turned.
That's really the only difference. So I wanted to show you guys that as well. That just really has been bothering me. That the light looks exactly the same when you flip that image. And like I said earlier in the video, I don't believe that when you turn your body from the left to the right, um, that you would have light coming, you know, on both sides like that, especially when the, the light is still coming from over, you know, probably the sun's up about here somewhere, maybe you're out here. If you go by, take a line and you draw a line from what you can see, um, the sun should probably be up, about up here. So it just doesn't make much sense to me why you would have light on both sides like that. Something's just not quite right. So <clears throat> there you go. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. I think that there's definitely a lot of things that are definitely wrong with this image. And so, you know, check it out for yourself and just see all the odd things that are going on. So don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my next video.